Hey, Fiber Hill folks. I tried to upload some stuff, but I don't know if they're making it harder on me because I don't like what I have to say or I'm just stupid. That could be, you know, Fiber Hill, dementia from some of those stupid doctors, whatever. But um, I bought a Mac. I've been a musician for a long time, actually a singer, but I write. But when you don't have somebody that plays along. Anyways, I just came up with this song. You guys tell me if you like it. I know it needs work, so don't be too hard on me, okay? But I just did it in the last five minutes, okay? I've been up, I've been down, I've been around, I've been in and out of town. I've been down, I've been bad, I've been up, I've been good. I get up each and every day, knowing I will be in pain. What would you do if you were me? Would you get up? Would you stay down? Would you quit and take your life like so many others? in front of you would you stay or would you go and take your life so oops anyway that's about as far as i got but if you couldn't figure out the lyrics it was hard for me too because i just did it i was saying i've been up i've been down I've been good, I've been around, I've been real, but have I been good? Or have I really ever been good? And I'm not talking about morality issues, I'm talking about, you know, how you feel, what's happening with your body, what you let yourself do, or what you do for others. You know what I mean? It's like, I remember shopping or trying to go shopping in a mall. And if you're chemically sensitive, the lights, the smells, everything will mesh up. You get in the dressing room. And this is before, you know, all the real paint hits and stuff like this. You're just young. And you can't even, like, pull your pants up and stuff like that. And you're like, why am I here? I mean, malls are really out of the question for most of us that are kind of far along. So, anyway, I comb my hair. I haven't put on any makeup yet. But I'm going to go out. I'm going to say hi to some friends. Uh, i got to get my artwork out there because I want to start a non-profit company. And I'm going to make some t-shirts. And I think we need a small dictionary. So you guys have to give me some input. Like, you know, we have our own words, like we got down days, and we've got uh, days where we feel better. So if you guys have any terminology you use, let me know. And uh, we'll write a Fibro Hell Michelle dictionary. And uh, if you think this song is any good, I literally wrote it in five minutes. Think what I could do with some real musicians that, you know, and I gotta tell you, I have talked to people, but, you know, once they know that you're disabled or whatever, nobody wants to take any chance on you or have any faith. So I figure I'll try to figure out the computer, and you guys know what that is like. I mean, I used to pay my bills, um, write some poetry, do something in 30 minutes, and that takes me four or five hours on the days that I can do it. So anyway, Fiber Hell Michelle. I'm sorry the other stuff didn't come up. I don't know what the hell is going on. Probably just me. I had some uh, guy, you know, I got to tell you, I'm so impressed with you guys. I've gotten so many beautiful comments that just make me want to do these videos. In the days that I can't get up, I look at my account and see what you've written to me, and you make me want to get up. And once in a while, there's an asshole. Very, very few. I had one that, uh, calls himself, I think it's a uh, child abuser.
Mm, nice screen name, isn't it? Isn't it amazing, too, that they never want to give gay people rights to even, like, you know, foster or adopt? But we have to think about it. We have to plan it. We have to spend lots of money. When people that don't even want kids just uh, roll over on somebody, get their rocks off, and go, oops, I made a mistake. Should I get married? And then you know who pays for it? The kids. The state. So instead of wasting so much time with these religious hate groups and stuff like that, maybe um, the money should go for education. It's amazing to me how people, especially flyover states and stuff, you know, flyover states means you're not in one of the big cities that gay people generally go to because they feel more accepted. But um, there's gay people there too, one in every ten of you. And they don't all look butch or dyke or whatever. They just want to have a life. And they don't come out to you because they get scared. But you know what, you guys? You need to. So wait, I'm really rambling tonight. We wrote a song about pain. We talked about my not knowledge of my Mac computer that's got, uh, what's it called, guitar thing. Could use some help. I heard about that group. Um, I'm not sure who it was, but I think they won a Grammy. These two people got together on the, on the uh, Internet. Anyway, my head is full of songs. I never get, like, writer's block or anything. And you guys can check out my poetry on my um, blog and, of course, a lot of other stuff. But uh, Facebook also has... Uh, I've been doing a lot of photography. It's amazing how your eye gets, you know, when you got really nothing else to use anymore. I mean, before, you know, I was working three jobs. I was singing. I was working as an optician. I was doing lots of things. So now... You know, I gotta find other ways. But anyway, say hi to my monster, monster Coco Taylor. She's learning to sing the blues. Let's see if she'll do it. I don't know if she'll. Coco, will you sing? Love me with the feeling. Are you crying? Love me at all. Sing. Love me with the feeling. Are you crying? Love me at all. Well, it's a little bit. She's just a puppy. Nobody will ever sing as good as Irving. For those of you who know me from my other life, when I used to, like, work and sing and stuff. Anyway, have a great night. I love you. Fibro Hell Michelle, keep writing to me. Um, we're going to all help each other. Thanks.